Oh, yeah. If I could just channel day nine just a little bit. Oh, I've got my nerd glasses on. What's up, guys? All right. I'm going to be starting fresh. I'm going to do a new account. Because my main account, as you can see right there, fucking sucks. And uh, I'm going to teach everyone what I didn't know before. Even though they kind of teach you in this tutorial right here. But let's go through it. You know, some units, requires mana, tap anywhere, cool, nice. We'll just go through this, tap, 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 tap. You know, this is a great PvP match because no one's on the other side. You get mana, defeating a monster. Yes, of course. It's not why you're here. You're here to get better. I'll take you. I'll show you my stupid ways on progressing forward. Hey, hey, don't you walk away from this nerdism. You get back in here. Your units can't handle the enemy advance. Summon a few more units. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. All that jazz. So what I'm going to do for this series is... Series. Already expecting other episodes. But what I'm going to do is... Basically, this is just going to be a playthrough series. I'll give helpful tutorials while I'm playing. But basically, this is to basically make a better account because my account over there yeah I, I made it to leagues and I'm gonna keep playing on this because this account that I'm doing right now isn't gonna be my main account that's always gonna be my main account I'm fine with that but I can see what I could have possibly done I went through so much BS as far as for my main account like this game just came out me and my boy just got into it um, so yeah, let's just keep continuing instead of rambling on. So, this is how you merge units. Of course, they can merge. Just so you know, if you merge units, it can merge into something completely different. As long as it's on, the, on this list. Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure they say that. But I'm pretty sure I wasn't paying attention. Remember, you merge like so. Could be anything. Merge like so. Merge like so. Oh my god. You'll never get these cool mergings. This is only because of this is the tutorial. Your luck will never be this good. <laughs> Eight units, blah blah blah, merge rank. I will enjoy a test tasty beverage. Look at that tutorial. It looks great. Still better than my games. Summon eight more units, thousand mana out of nowhere. God, I need this luck for my. I just got into leagues and I'm already getting stumped. Let's talk about some of these units. All of these units you're never gonna use. You'll probably use them in the beginning, but after a while, it's just a grind game, really. Until you, well, I feel like once you get to um, four thousand trophies. I don't know if you've played any of the other games that they've made. But once you get to 4,000 trophies, you do leagues, and then you can, um... Oh, was I supposed to play? <laughs> Oops. Once you get the leagues, then you'll get ranks. And you'll have even more anxiety. Um, is this gonna let me play? Okay, this is not gonna let me play. We're still going through the tutorial stages. So what I'll do is I'll do a couple games... Once it hits probably 10 minute mark, I'll cut it off, and we'll go through there. I'll try to make it, it as informative as possible. See my girl in the back just reading her book. Don't be distracted. Defeat monsters. Defeated monsters go to your opponent's side. It still does. It, it's still unclear on how that works. There's little monster marks in the middle here kill a monster it disappears off yours it populates on theirs but if you have like 30 monsters coming out at once it really gets confusing so you can't even track it anyway nice are they gonna let me do stuff oh they're gonna let me do stuff finally so I guess they're just letting us play now so we'll go through the motions spawn things combine them you know 
enjoy the great lucky tutorial where you spawn things and it's actually good. If you don't know, you can only merge units or towers or whatever characters uh, that are the same rank to make a better rank. Merge two ones, get a two. Merge two twos, get a three, stuff like that. Victory, yay, cool. See, so you get these trophy rewards, and once you get to 4,000, then uh, you'll quit. <laughs> Alright. So let's see here. Let's make a nickname. Get one free, so we'll just do, let's see, from YouTube. How long can my name be? Oh, wow. So, confirm this. Alright, cool. Can't even have this name. F you. So, let's just do... Uh, I'll see. YT. You know? So after you win, you can collect some rewards for their own version of a battle pass that's ridiculously long. Cool. You get archers. Just so you know, from the beginning, from the start, I'm going to keep saying this over and over again. <laughs> upgrade everything. Just upgrade everything. It helps. Look at this. This premium pass for some moolah? No. We're going free to play all the way. This is a broke man tutorial. Nice. So we get fr from our free battle pass, we got some stuff. We'll go over here to the card section and upgrade. So, again, I reiterate this. This critical damage number counts for everything. You want this as high as possible upgrade as much as you can yeah upgrade gives you benefits to your cards but it doesn't really matter well it does matter but the overall percentage for your critical rate is what you want i just realized i wouldn't know how long oh yeah i do have a timestamp. so we're at seven minutes now but we'll keep trucking along we'll play at least three games explain a little more hopefully we win if we lose that'll be super embarrassing so you can laugh at me and let's see what's over here you always want to check the gift section because they always have some free stuff in there you can also buy some things like you know get 70 gold it's the beginning might as well spin it on some fire mages nice that lets me upgrade him again look at my critical damage we'll keep talking about that goes up nice cool um i'm not gonna do it here because it'll be super boring to watch uh plus i don't want to put more ads where they're not supposed to be but these ad watch buttons plays an ad for about 30 seconds but it actually gives you a lot of stuff it's super beneficial so you click the ad watch the ad and then you can go into pvp or co-op so we'll go straight into pvp and then we'll do a co-op game, and then that's it. We'll call it a day after that. So you want to spam everything out in the beginning, especially for these low ranks. Um, seeing as I don't really have any support type cards, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. These green guys shoot the fastest, and you can get a lot of bang for your buck. Watch this guy beat me. Just laugh. I'm just gonna keep going like this. Later on, you'll get units that actually help build your mana. Um, until we actually get some good ones, we'll just keep upgrading. At this point, since you don't have so many cards, you want to stick to some of the ones that you trust the most. Like I love this green archer. I'm gonna upgrade him just once make a note of this middle timer that's when the boss comes out all the bosses have different abilities I'll explain when I see them so Gorgon she's basically Medusa and she petrifies all of your cards two at a time I think like 
at different points of the map. So right in the beginning, she petrifies two. One in the middle, she petrifies two. And then the last one at the last home stretch. So it's three times she does it. If you slow her, she'll do it even more. So you never want to slow her. So I'm going to focus on just combining as much as I can. All the circles with the circles. I don't want a diamond. I don't want to do this oval yet. And we already won. Just from making sure that my green arrow guys were strong enough to beat the giant. I think these are demon walkers. I think that's what they're called. I honestly don't know. And nor does it say it anywhere. This game's fairly new, so there's not that much here. So, it's our boss round. She's going to... <laughs> Petrify some people, and I'm obviously not going to be strong enough. Um, when you don't kill a boss, it takes away two health, two hearts. I have three, luckily enough. He's going to lose, and uh, I'll do one of these. Laugh in his face, because I know I won. And uh, I'll lose two hearts, but he's just going to lose. So, good game, yay! That's all we need to do. Get some trophies, get some money, get a little bit of this is for your battle pass. And that's where we got our first win. One thing you want to make sure, collect your rewards. Always collect your rewards. Check your store. Oh, got more rewards. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Priestess, she's so good early on. Make sure you rank her up all the way. There's little indicators. You see this number three? It's for new stuff that's in your cards or things that need to be upgraded. Don't get used to this five coins because later it won't be five coins. <laughs> All right, I don't have enough to buy Reaper. He's really good, but I will buy everything else. Make sure you buy all of this. I'm not gonna run that ad, but I'm trying to upgrade him as much as I can to be as strong as I can. So that critical damage number to go up starts at 200, Mario at 208, so that's good. Why do I still have... Okay, I didn't click on this. Alright, cool. So, now that you've seen what PvP looks like, let's go into co-op. Co-op is a great place to try out your new builds. I just noticed I don't have her in here, so I'm gonna put her in here. When you merge her, you get mana. First one's 80, level 2 is 160, and I think it's 240. I think it goes like that, it's 20. So we'll do a co-op game, just to try it out. Up, you play with someone else, of course. It's a good way to farm cash later. Gold pieces, I guess. Um, these ice guys are cool because ice actually stacks, but they can mess you up on boss rounds. So I am literally just going to merge them away because we want our green guy super strong. Um, for co op. Every 10th level, 10, 20, 30, it'll be a boss instead of the timer for PvP. It's always the same. You get a trainer boss first. He summons units. And then um, you get Gorgon. You know, you, you, we already seen her. Um, she will petrify units. And then you'll get Badlam, who is basically a Mad Hatter. And he switches all your cards to something different. It's always random. It's never it's never the same. I'm going to keep betting on my green archer guy, by the way. Oh, and you get to see it. See our little mage girl? 80, gold, 80 mana. Yay. So we'll just keep upgrading here. See, now she'll get 160. If I can find another blue girl. Um, I want to fill my board because I know once trainer comes out, I want to have an enough units out as possible to handle it. I'm pretty sure this guy's new too, so I doubt he really knows what's going on. Um, so you know, when you merge units, they attack faster, but when you upgrade units, they attack stronger. It's not together. It's, uh, it took a while for me to realize that. <laughs> but since I'm doing both, it works for our green guys. Later on, you'll be super annoyed. If you get super lucky, you'll get a legendary version of him. He's called Boreas. He like upgrades himself while fighting. 
so stupidly cheap. I, I don't even have them on my regular account, so hopefully you guys are lucky. Let's keep merging things. So, uh oh, uh oh. Also, you don't have three, three lives in this. You have one life. If any units go through, you lose. So keep a note of that. Uh, we're coming along here. I'm gonna stop upgrading and I'm gonna fill my board. I only have two more rounds to go, so I don't think I have enough mana. Mana goes up 10 every single time you spawn something. I think it's 10. Yeah, it's 10. So it'll be 200, the next one will be 210. So sometimes I like to spread out my upgrades. I have four green guys, so I'll get them to at least level three. Oh, we're about to lose here, aren't we? Oh my god, we survived. Alright, so you get to see Trainer for the first time. Spawns these units, they go up, and they lose. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose right now. But that's a, that's quite all right. It's a new account. Don't have that many good cards. Actually, we might be able to come together and kill this together. And we keep spawning stuff. Yes. I think. Do we got this? <laughs> it's like hanging on by a thread. <laughs> kill him. Uh, do we got it? Oh my goodness, I think we actually have it. That's hilarious. I didn't think we were going to survive. We got some more mages to get some mana. Remember, ice stacks, so that's good. Let's keep combining these. Right, now that we got this set up to 400, we're going to not touch this too much. Let's spread out the wealth. Um, we got a lot of green guys. Oh, we're about to lose here. Never mind. Uh, that's it. Bait. Alright, we'll do one more PvP game and then I'll be it for our playthrough for today. Remember, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Make sure you check the store. Make sure you upgrade your units. Get that nice critical damage. And definitely, definitely do your ads. If you see this ad button, and you click it, it doesn't work, don't worry, it's because this game's too new. And they don't have time out, uh, timers. It's like a gatekeep. They don't want you to keep clicking it, so. So let's do it. Let's do another PvP. We're gonna focus on these two guys. Merging a lot of her. And, uh, upgrading up our, uh, our green archer guys. Um, since I don't want to slow anyone down right now, I'm gonna not what I wanted. You you don't want to exhaust all your options. You don't want to end up with a million mana girls. Because then you won't have damage. Like I want to combine these two guys. But if they merge into something completely different, they'll be irrelevant to me. I won't be able to kill things. You never want to put yourself in the hole. Like, I'll do it now that I have three. But, uh... See how my first merge made her? That'd be terrible if it was for everyone. Mainly because he's my main, main damage dealer. I can combine these guys. Not that I need to. I think I want to fill my board up first. Let's see what he's doing. He looks like he's higher ranked than I do. He's already got these guys. This is a multi-attack person, he just attacks randomly, instead of hitting the first one. Um, I'm going to keep spreading out my board. I want to upgrade, but I've upgraded once and that's fine. And you get to see Bedlam. Oh, this is actually a really good chance. So for low ranks, until you can kill Bedlam outright, you want to upgrade everything. Because if he switches it to something, uh... Wow, that was actually really fast. <laughs> I didn't think I would win that fast. <laughs> we'll do another one. But since we have some money, let's go over here. Can we buy anything else? 
takes a while for everything to restart. Uh, I don't want to refresh because it's going to bring us into an ad. So I'm not going to do that. But I will grab this reward. Upgrade this. Yes, we got Reaper. That's good. Um, thing to note, commons come out level 1 when you freshly get them. Uh, I think blues, as far as rarity, come out level 3. And purple comes out level 5, obviously. You can see that we got Reaper. We'll put him in the deck because we want that crit. Look at that critical damage, 210 already. Let's see, the only person I'm not really using right now is uh, the Ice Dude. He's not upgraded, and nor do I really want him in my deck slowing everything down. Alright, here we go. Last game. I don't care if this goes quick. Alright, you see, Gorgon, it's Medusa. These two are kind of generally killing it. I don't want to combine yet, so I don't want to get stuck with just more Mage Girl. Now that I have another one, I can safely do that. Now that I have him, these Reapers have a chance of auto-killing things. And since it's only a tiny chance, it's not worth it to really keep them. Even upgrading him doesn't increase the chance. I mean, I'm sorry. Even upgrading him doesn't increase the chance. It's when you merge them, the chance goes higher. But it's it's literally like point zero something percent. It's not it's not worth it. He's really pushing my units along. But we're gonna follow our same plan. We're gonna keep upgrading our green guys. We want them as fast as possible. Ooh, do you see a little scythe? What the? It's from him. Auto kill. Let's keep filling up our board. Listen, with Gorgon, since she's going to petrify, 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 you want your whole board filled. I mean, you kind of always want your whole board filled, but for her specifically, because she'll <laughs> she likes to petrify the key units that you use. So she'll petrify my green guys immediately. That's it. That's it for this series. Um, you know, if you have any questions, ask me. Thanks for hanging out. See you guys later.